Now at five o'clock, a thrift store up in Lakeside, Arizona, over near Sholo, got hundreds of old high school letterman jackets, and now they're on a mission to track down the adults who, for some reason, never got to take those jackets home. It's always kind of a big deal when yeah. you earn one, right? <laughs> Earlier this week, we told you about a guy who found the letterman jacket his mom couldn't afford almost 30 years ago. So we sent Spencer Blake out there to sort through all those memories just waiting to be found. Red and black. Inside the Veterans Village Thrift Shop in Lakeside, <laughs> owner Maggie Heath has a whole rack set aside of traditional high school letterman jackets in almost every color imaginable. With a zip hoodie, you can tell it's for a female. Recently, the store got a huge donation, a trailer full of letterman jackets and patches from a Mesa man. There's track and there's basketball and there's cheer and there's band. He and his wife had contracts with schools all over the state to customize students' jackets. And after his wife passed away, he donated all the leftovers that never got picked up over the years. And we're going to try to reunite the people that couldn't afford these when they graduated. It's already happened once with Jed Motley. His brother Josh found a red jacket from Chaparral High School that had the precise name and year on it. He calls and says, uh, Jed, was there any other Jeds at Chaparral in 1994? I said, no, just one. <laughs> and I was like, I swear, I swear to you, this is happening right now, Jed. This is, I didn't make this up. It's wonderful to see how happy he was when he got that jacket. Now, Maggie wants to create more of those nostalgic reunions. When the donations first came in, staff didn't realize that these were real jacket orders for actual high school students over the years. In fact, they sold several dozen of these pretty quickly. But now that they know how meaningful these jackets really are, they're on a mission to get some of them back. Anybody that bought a jacket here that has a name on it, We'll refund their money. We'll give them double store credit if they want to bring it back. The shop has been getting calls and emails all week from people who wonder if perhaps the jacket they never got to wear is still waiting for them. Six different schools could have the same color, but the material in the setup of the jacket is different. This woman drove three hours to Lakeside from the Valley to recreate her own Miami High School jacket, complete with the vandal patches. Michael Ortega is taking home a special batch of patches at no charge. I ran into the stuff from my old high school, so I had decided, well, I'm going to go ahead and buy that stuff and take it back to, to do the archives. Meanwhile, this Maggie and her employees sense. keep looking. And this, I think, was track. Hoping more people come forward. It's got a name on it that is Sharita. The jackets are no longer for sale, but they're free as a belated graduation gift to their rightful owners. I really want to get these jackets jackets back that have the names on them and get them to the people who deserved them and earned them. In Lakeside, Spencer Blake, Blue and Green, Arizona's family.